Hey guys, it's Tom from Trainsome TV. I'm bringing you a tutorial video for RW Enhancer. This has been requested by a few people um, within my Twitch channel just to show how you would set up RW Enhancer, how you would install it and get it um, running correctly. Um, so I'm just going to give you a quick brief tutorial on how to do this. So I'm just going to shut this down. Um, I'm going to open up the latest version, draw that across onto this side. So, first of all, you um, just go and install it as you normally would. I'm just going to let this load up. So, English, click OK. Next, next. Uh, you can install this to wherever you want. I'm just going to leave it on my um, games. Uh, where are we? I'm going to pop it in my train simulation installer, I think. No, I'll leave it where it is. It's easy enough. Right, click next and click next again and create a desktop shortcut and click install right so as you can see it's just popped a little icon on the desktop so i'm going to click by finishing and let it launch up the program i'm just going to close that down right so um, we are presented now with the um interface uh, program for uh, Adobe enhancer it's already got my um I think it's got my original setting in because I've only installed it just for this tutorial purpose. Um, when you open Adobe Enhancer up, um, it's going to tell you it's enabled. It should have your path um, in there already. If it hasn't, all you need to do is click Change TS Path, and then you just need to uh, navigate into which uh, hard drive and whatever you have um, the game installed. So for me, it's in T. Steam apps, common, blah blah blah, and then all you need to do is click Railworks. No further than that. So then you just click OK, and as you see, exactly the same as it was. Um, at the minute, as it says it's enabled, all these settings are enabled. I'm just doing double check that these are the same as mine, which I think they are exactly the exact. Yeah, they are the same. It's saved them from before. So basically, it's as easy as that. Um, these are my settings. If you ever want to have a little play about and add them in yourself, but all you have to do is tick and untick different ones to suit your needs. Once you've done and chosen your specific setup, you just need to click install and update, and it'll bring you a little message up saying shares are installed. You can now close RW Enhancer and launch Train Simulator. So just click close on there, close this down, and then run the game. Um, to back up to the original shaders all you must do is click restore original shaders and that'll put the game back into its original um, graphical setup um, everything will be just turned off and it will be back to how you, it would have been when you bought the game it's as easy as that um, I hope that's been beneficial to you guys uh, thank you very much for watching this brief tutorial and catch you on the next one bye now